just remind us that Labor Day was first celebrated in the year 1889. It was a movement for labor, mov labor movement when laborers wanted their voice heard. But let us not also forget to remember those laborers who are not in a labor movement because they also have a large part to play in our economy. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have very much to say today. Perhaps two or three things. The first is the opening of the swimming pool, what I call a recreational center, is part of a manifesto, our manifesto, the Jubilee Manifesto, which was launched a while back by the President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta and his deputy William Samoy Ruto. So thank you for your efforts. Because when I spoke to them about this occasion, their message was this. Wambie asante sana. Wambie tutawatembelea. Ladies and gentlemen, our community has been paramount in taking this country leaps and bounds. Our manifesto also talks about promoting our economy into double digits. That means not only international investment, but it also means encouraging better business process and local manufacturing. And I know all of you are part of it in some way or another. So let us not um, shy away from it. If there's one thing I do request to the committee members is to have a forum where we can discuss on the problems that our community, business community faces so that we can, as one voice, present it as a point of consideration in Parliament. Ladies and gentlemen, it takes only one voice in Parliament for a bill to be overturned. Only one voice. And that demands strategy. And that is the support now I'm looking from you. Strategy. Let us sit together and strategize. In order for a 24 economy, we demand security. The last time we had um, a meeting at the Vishwa Osho Auditorium, I implored to the then incoming President Uru Muigai Kenyatta that we are looking forward to the steps that they are taking for security because for us that is a very big issue. Ladies and gentlemen, what does it mean when somebody stands in Parliament? I'm not referring to myself in person, but I can tell you this. There is an honorable colleague of mine who's trying to push a bull, a bill, not a bull, a bill, for livestock insurance. Because many of our people that live in the rural areas have livestock who don't have insurance. They're making change in their own way for the betterment of their society. So why can't we? Why can't we? And that's why I mean we must strategize. The next five years, we must strategize. I will like to wrap up by saying a big thank you once again to the chairman of the Sikh Union Club, to the Ramgadia Gurdwara Society, to the Ramgadia Youth Association, and to each and every member of this community that I have known since I was young, who have done what they have done good in any way possible. Thank you because you are the kingmakers of our society. You are the kingmakers of our children. Let us continue in this way for the betterment of our society, of our children, and of our country. Asante sana.
ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ